Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Soldier Field. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Their first play from scrimmage is a pickup of 13. CD always more eyes on these night games, and they started it off nicely there on that run. Yeah, and you're exactly right. Don't think for a second these players don't know and understand that. They want to impress their peers across the league. They also want to win the ball game. That's the way to get things going. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and three. They'll fake the give. Now Williams rolling to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Throwing is Williams. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And all the way down inside the five and the four. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Let's go now. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. And he whips that one incomplete there. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Come on, come on, set. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. Ready? To throw, it's Williams. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Odafe Owe. And the Ravens are going to have it here at their own 15. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 15. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on right second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Henry again on second down. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. 
Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you'll have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it and pick up first downs. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Early down stuffs have put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Third and eight. Now it's Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 24 yards. Jackson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. He's to the 15. And they will score a pick six for Bears touchdown. Well, what a response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps an early case of anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. A lot of people came to expect the offense to light this game up, but so far, the defenses are stealing the show. Santos with the extra point after 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they've got it as we resume action. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back. Gets through, and now an opening. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Flushed out right. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, 
As soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Well, still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on four. They'll run for it with Henry. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Blowing that play up, Roquan Smith, as he gets the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Running is swift. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Four yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have to contend with a third and 13. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, turnabout is fair play, I guess. They had a pick six against them earlier, and now this defense, Charles, they get a pick six of their own. And for a moment, let's just set aside how it impacts the scoreboard because how about the response? One defense gets the pick six, the other comes back and matches it. These are two defenses that are planning on winning the game for their teams themselves. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Wide open. It's Allen complete. On the move past the 40. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. They knew they had the free play after the penalty. They get great yardage, so they can decline that penalty. And one of the things we've seen develop more and more in recent years are teams seeing that penalty occur and still taking the big shot downfield and hoping to gain the yardage as we just saw there. They practice it, they work on it, and this time they're successful. Second down, eight to go from the 28. To the air, Williams. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back <laughs> one more time. Didn't work there. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 
And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. DeAndre Swift, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And able to get this out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. And that's caught inside the 30. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit from the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. The Bears kick over first and Let's go now. at the 23-yard line. On play action, here's Williams. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And he will bring this 
back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. We changed it. No, we changed it. After the interception, here's Jackson. And he'll get into the end zone to push the lead up to a field goal. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Now Williams throwing after the interception. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. To throw, Williams escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. And that's complete to Swain. Oh, he's got some breathing room. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Here's Williams. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Here's Swift. And from the nine, they get this to the five yard line. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Looking to throw is Williams. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Komet, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bears have retaken a third-quarter lead. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive. But there he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there. And there's a silver lining to all of this, his resiliency. Because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, this stops right here. And how about the positive play he just turned in? The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Well, now how about this return? And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the...
Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. This time, Jackson will throw it. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Jervon Dexter gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. But defensively, on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? they got to figure out a... And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Back now at Soldier Field. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. In motion, Aguilar. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And some room to work. And he'll get it down here to the 43. The crazy sequence here. A huge gain that time, but it still leaves him well short for fourth down. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Go. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is gonna have a Ravens first down. And they convert in style right there. A big play on fourth and long. Jackson from the shotgun. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off. And the Bears are going to get the football back at their own 17. So that a definite deflator there on the interception. Yeah, you work your way down the field thinking you're in position for a go-ahead score. But all it takes is one errant throw, and this one winds up a turnover. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They get the crucial turnover just huge, but now they've got the football deep in their own territory, and you got to be careful because if you give it right back, there goes your lead. Have to be extremely happy with their defense. They received a gift, that takeaway. Even though they're deep in their own territory, now they have the football. And you know there's always that alpha on defense, that grouchy guy. Forget what the coaches said. I'll guarantee you, he told the quarterback, we just took care of you, now you take care of us. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now a second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Williams from the gun on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. 
The ball was tipped and fell incomplete, but it was tipped up in the air. So the guys on defense, they had to feel like that was a big opportunity and it was missed. They needed a play to help turn things around a little bit. Ball's in the air. Can they rally to it and get it? On that play, they weren't able to. They'll take the ball batted away, but boy, they missed a big chance there. On fourth down, here's Williams. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Here's first and ten. A first down carry for Henry. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Here we go. This is fourth down. Here's Jackson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on downs. 